guys, today we're going to have another craft day. I am going to make my dog Shorty a house elf costume. So she is going to become Dobby from Harry Potter. I don't have an actual pattern, so I had to make my own from just measurements of her. I measured her her back from the back of her neck to right before her tail, so I have the length of her body. And then I measured around the biggest part of her belly, around her neck, and then like between her shoulders. And I'm hoping that's enough. So I ended up with this as my pattern. Fingers crossed it works and it fits her okay. I'm hoping I got my measurements correctly. Um, I'm not really that great at custom making patterns. I mean, I've done it a few times, but it's not my cup of tea. It's not my favorite thing to do. So what I'm going to do for material, just to keep it really cheap, I went on Amazon and I bought a beige colored set of pillowcases that were, I don't know, about five bucks. So I have two pillowcases and the ones I got are super huge. So I have plenty of fabric here in case I mess up. So I, I have two. Hopefully I won't mess up. <sighs> Fingers crossed, knock on wood. And then I bought a pair of socks that we're going to use as well because Master gives Dobby a sock and Dobby is a free elf. So we found a pair that say uh, Master has given Dobby a sock. It says that on one of them and then the other sock says Dobby is free. I think I'm going to use the one where Master has given Dobby a sock. Once the outfit is done, I'm going to safety pin this to the outfit. I think that'd be really cute. And um, the ones I found on Amazon came with two pairs. So I get to keep a pair and a pair will become crafts. So yay, let's get started. I'm going to start by getting rid of things I don't need at the moment. And we're going to pin the pattern to the pillowcase and then I'm going to cut it out and then I have a couple spots that I need to sew so, and I don't need to hem it because Dobby's outfit is kind of tattered so we want to have that uneven tattered messy look so I'm not going to be hemming it at all and then the shoulders we leave so that we could tie them and I'm hoping that I left enough I think I did to tie on I think the neck is probably going to be really big, but when we tie it on her shoulders, I'm hoping that that'll kind of shrink down. Again, fingers crossed. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> We're winging this together here. Um, so let's just do it. Shorty, are you excited? She's over there squeaking her little tennis ball. <laughs> All right, let's do this. I'm going to time lapse this part.
fun and it fits shorty perfectly guys can you see I need to find us another safety pin to pin the sock on a little bit better because it's kind of long so I'll find another safety pin and do that right oh honey you're so cute baby it fits perfectly she hates it she is not liking this at all <laughs> oh my god can't believe how easy this was. First try, I had no idea what I was doing drawing out the pattern. Just looking at a picture of Dobby's outfit and just winging it and going by measurements of my dog. It turned out really good. Well, there you go. I made my dog into a house self. I made her a Dobby costume. <laughs> how fun. Oh my gosh. I can't wait for Halloween. We're going to do a whole Harry Potter theme. It's going to be so much fun. I hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I did. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Have a great day. Bye, guys. Okay, so I know I just ended the video, but a package arrived at the door, and it's Harry Potter themed, so I thought, let's open it. Let's add it to the rest of this video. Why not? Because it kind of goes with the, the outfit I just made for Shorty. This is for Pete. <laughs> nice. It's a Hufflepuff robe. How awesome. Now we're complete. So Pete has his costume pit, bit bits, words. <laughs> I have the scarf that I crocheted for him. Shorty has her Dobby costume. And I have my Luna Lovegood cosplay. So all that's left is Skye. She's going to be Harry Potter. She has her own little Gryffindor scarf that I custom made for her. A lot smaller than the ones I normally sell in my shop. And uh, I'm probably going to Photoshop on the glasses because she's not going to have it. If I put glasses on her, she's going to freak out. So that's what we'll do. For a photo, at least. We'll Photoshop the, the glasses on Sky. This turned out really, really cute. So I found some more safety pins, and I pinned the sock on a lot better. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? And the robe, really nice. Perfect timing. Okay, well, that's it. It's starting to get really, really hot in here with the studio lights on. So I'm going to go cool down. Enjoy your day. Bye, guys.